Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, we're following on from part one, where we created a GraphQL API in Nest.js. And in this video, we're going to be adding a MongoDB connection to that API. So you can see my folder structure here includes part one and part two. We're going to be working in the part two collection. Right now, part two and part one are exactly the same. But if you want to follow along at home, you can look into either one of these folders and see where we're up to. So basically what we're going to be doing is following along with the Mongo documentation on the Nest.js website. So let's get started. So firstly, we need to install two new dependencies. So we're going to install Nest.js slash Mongoose and Mongoose. Once those dependencies are installed, we can come into our app module and we can import the Mongoose module dependency from Nest.js slash Mongoose. And then inside the imports array, we can add our Mongoose module and then a string that includes our database connection string. You'll probably want to store this connection string in an environment variable. So this is our MongoDB connection setup. The next bit to do will be to turn our schemas into models. So we can start with our book schema. So open up the book schema file. So there's two ways you can do this. You can create a Mongoose model like you normally would or you can use the schema directory or you can use the schema directive that comes with nest.js slash mongoose. I'm going to do that here because I think it's a little bit more interesting. There's plenty of tutorials out there that show you how to create a mongoose model. So add the schema directive above the object type directory. We're going to change our ID to underscore ID because that's what MongoDB uses. We don't need to include our ID in the schema because Mongo is going to create that for us. And we can use this prop directory above the fields that we want to go into our schema. So we can do this with title, ISBN, and with author. And author is going to have a reference to an author model. So much like we would do in Mongoose, we can use the type mongoose types.objectid, and that needs to reference author.name. An author is also going to be a schema type. And you can see here that we need to import mongoose. So we can import all as mongoose from mongoose. The last thing we need to do is use the schema factory dot create from class and we can throw in our book and we're going to export this as our book schema. If you've ever used type goose, this will look pretty familiar to you. Next thing to do will be to inject our model into the service. So we can come into our book service and we can open up the constructor. And in the constructor's arguments, we're going to put this inject model. We're going to call book.name and we're going to create a private model of the book document. So we need to import inject model. We also need to import model. And we also need to import our book document. So we can start using our model straight away. So we can say for find many, it's going to be this dot book model dot find, and we'll call dot lean on our find. And you can see here that we're getting some type errors. It's because we renamed book dot ID to book dot underscore ID, and that's fine. We can go through and fix those up later. The next thing to do will be to add our model to the book module. So import the mongoose module. And we're going to call mongoose module dot for feature. And that's going to take an array of objects. And the object has two properties, name and schema. So we can call import our book and our book schema. And let's try start our server and see if we have any errors. So we're getting a few type errors here. So we can go into our book service and we can refactor these functions to use our model. So in find by ID, we can call this dot book model dot find by ID plus in our ID as an argument and then we can call dot lean and we also want to return this and then we can remove this code here for find by author ID we can return this dot books model dot find and we're going to put author and we want the author to be equal to author ID and because we're going to be finding by author, we should add an index for the author on the book model. 
So let's go into the books and we can add that index. We also need to add this book document. So that's going to be equal to our book object and mongoose.document. And we can export that. To add our index, we'll call bookschema.index and we'll pass in our author and a property of one. And that will add an index to our author. And you can see here that we're getting an error and it's because our author module doesn't include our book model. And if you want to see that why that's the case, we can have a look in our author resolver and you can see that here that we're calling the book service. So the book service calls the book model. And so the author module is going to need to know about the book model. So we can copy the code that we put into our book module and we can add that into the author module. We just need to import book and book schema and mongoose module. And you can see here that Nest is now happy. So if we come over to the GraphQL playground, we can do a query for our books. And we should get an empty array, but we're calling authors here and we're not populating the authors. So let's go do that. So if you remember from the last video, the way that you populate data is to use the resolve field method. So you can see here that we're going to call author service .find by ID. And if we go find the implementation for this find by ID, we're still looking into the old authors data. So let's create an authors schema so we can update this find by ID function. Let's come into the author schema. And we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing that we did to the book schema. So we're going to import prop schema and schema factory from nest.js slash mongoose. We're going to use the schema directory we're going to change ID to underscore ID. And then we're going to use our prop on top of our author's name. And we're going to do the same for book. And book is going to be an array of books. And again, we need to import mongoose. Then we need to export our author schema with the schema factory dot create from class. And we're going to pass in our author class. So if we come back to our author service, you can see that we're getting an error here in book service. If you come into our author resolver, you can see here that it's trying to call parent, which is of type author dot ID. This is going to be parent dot underscore ID. And if we come into our author service, we can now add the author model to the constructor. So create a constructor that takes one argument of injectable model, and we're going to call author dot name and then we're going to create a private function called author model. And it's going to be of type moth model, author model, author document. So we need to import author and author document. Again, I forgot to export this author document. So let's quickly go into author schema and do that. If you are unsure of what this mongoose.document is, I have a whole video on that. I can link to that in the description below. So if we come back to our author service, we can see that our author document is now here. And we need to import injectable model. We need to import model and we can refactor this function here to return this dot author model dot find by ID. It takes our ID and again, we'll call dot lean. And while we're here, we can refactor our find many to be this dot author model dot find with no arguments. And then we'll call dot lean again. Again, we have Nest.js here telling us that the author module needs to know about the author model. So I come into the author module and we can just copy this object here that is for our book model. And we can repeat that and we can call author, author.name, and we can call book, sorry, we can call author schema. And while we're here, let's do the exact same thing for the book module. It's going to need to know about the author model. So we need to import the author object and the author schema. And Nest.js looks like it's happy. So now we can go back to the book resolver. And we were trying to get this author to populate. So we're calling this.authorService.findById. And we have this function implemented. So if we go back to our GraphQL playground, we should expect the author to resolve on books. And you can see here that we have several books. These are books that I inserted into the database earlier. 
But to get your books in here, we can create this create book function. So come back to the book resolver. A create book mutation is calling this dot book service dot create book. And we're passing in a book here. So let's take a look at this and we're just updating the book data that comes from the data file. So instead we can return this dot book model dot create and we're going to create a book. Before we go ahead and create a book, let's go create a resolver so we can create an author. To come into the author resolvers and we're going to create a new mutation that we'll call at mutation. And our mutation is going to return a single author. A mutation is going to be called create author. And we're going to return this dot author service dot create author. We're going to take one argument and that is going to be input. And then input is going to have an author's name. So we can call args. Tell args that our input is called input. Create the variable and give the variable a type. So this is going to be create author input. And we need to create this create author input. So come into the author schema. And below our author schema, we're going to create an input type called create author input. And that's just going to take one field and that is a string. So import this into our resolver. And we can create the create author service. So we need to pass input into the service. Come into the author service and create a new function. We're going to return this dot author model dot create and we're going to pass in our input so come over to the graphql playground and we can create our mutation for creating an author if you're unsure where to get this create author input if you come over to the docs section you can see here we have a mutation and the input is called create author input so you can copy this and paste it over there so let's run this mutation and we can see that we get a new author with an ID. And so we can come over to our create book mutation and we can replace the ID down here with our author's ID and we can run that mutation. And it looks like we are requiring a type of ID and this is left over from part one. So we can come into our book schema, into our create book input and you can see here that we require an ID. Just remove that because Mongoose is going to generate the ID for us now. So MongoDB is going to generate that ID. We can come back over to our playground. And also it looks like our author is requiring an int because our author used to be a number, but now we're just going to pass in a string. So we can remove this altogether and we can change the type of ID. So this is the wrong input. We can see author here is an int, so we can remove this. And we can just say this is going to be a string. And we can come back to our playground and try again. And we have a new book. So if we query for all of our books, you can see here that we get all of our books and we get our author attached to the book. We can query for a single book by passing in an ID. And it looks like we haven't implemented this yet. So let's go ahead and implement the query for a single book. Come over to our book resolver and we have this book query of find book input. And so it looks like again, we're requiring an int and we can just remove this here and we can change ID to a string and we'll just change that to underscore ID. So the reason we can remove that is because type GraphQL is going to infer the GraphQL type from our TypeScript type. And we also need to update the book resolver. So this is going to be called ID. So if we come into our find by ID query, it looks like we're querying the model, so we should be good to go. And we can run this query and we get our single book back. Now for our authors query, and it also returns all of our authors with the books attached to the query. So that concludes the Next.js GraphQL with MongoDB 
tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and please subscribe.